Okay, welcome back in this tutorial. I'll show you how to do uh, something really cool like a kid talking. Let me uh, move the slider. I'll show you what it means. Like that. See, Knight Rider talking. So, this is all done using texture. Okay, no lights. Very easy. Okay, so let me show you how. First thing is I'm going to do is go into Polygon. Uh, click on Polygon Cube. I'm going to click and drag like this. And then hit control, uh, go into channel box, click this name, and the height I'm going to add it, make it 9. Okay, so now I'm going to hold on space bar and choose the front view. Right click, select these two, and hit the R key to scale, scale in, right up here, and then do the same thing for these guys. Scale in. And then next one, scale a little bit in, and it doesn't have to be perfect like that, okay, so you could scale these guys a little bit bigger, like that. I'm trying to make it look like the original shape of Knight Rider, okay, so right click and choose object, okay, go back to perspective, <coughs> next will be, um, to create a texture for this, let's open the hypershade window, rendering, hypershade. I'm gonna clear out everything. Because what you need is click this icon, you need several nodes, you need a uh let's start with bulge. Next is you need the um cloth. And then you also need a uh, layer texture. Make sure you pick this one right here, layer texture. And you need a blend. Okay, I'm going to minimize it. I don't need to see this window. I'm going to click this one. Okay, here's my blend. Layered. I'm going to bring the bulge downward. I'm going to bring these two up. Okay. Let's start with the bulge. Double click on the bulge. <coughs> Keep these two the same. Open up color balance. Double click the color gain. And make it uh, red. Okay, next is you double click the uh, placement node, or you go over here, placement node. Right now it has four, like a grid light, so you scroll down and make this to one. Repeat U and V to be one and one, so that's what it looks like. Next is double click on the cloth. Okay, this one should be all the way up. These two should be all black. Next is bring this guy all the way up. Okay. Okay, now next is going to the placement 2D node. I'll double click on this icon. Okay, the repeat UV. Okay, keep everything the same right here. Go down right here, repeat UV. This the U should be 0. It's going to be 7. Oops, 7. See right here. So now I hit the line. And the offset should be negative 0.77. Okay, now that's done. And also with this, you don't need to select right here, cloth. You don't need to call, change the color balance to keep it the default. Next, double click the layer texture node. Mega mouse drag this one to here. Mega mouse drag this one to here. You can de delete the default. And make sure the bulge is on the left and the cloth is on the right. Okay, so let's go back to the bulge on the left. Make sure that um, the blend mode is going to be illuminate. And then where's this guy, the cloth, it's going to be over, okay? So that's what it looks like. Now, Mega Mouse drag this one to here, and choose other, I mean color. Okay, something's wrong, roughly my object. Some reason, somehow it got messed up, let me delete it. <coughs> Let me create again. I'm gonna go channel box and go back to nine. Find you. You know what? I'm gonna go scale first. Make the same height as this one. Right click and choose vertex. I'm gonna set these two. You can scale in. Oh, 
I'll keep it like that. Right click and choose object mode. Okay, right now what I'm going to do is um, <clears throat> I'm going to go to this icon right here. Okay, let me open the hypershade first, just in case. And this one, yeah, it should be. Let me double click on this one to go up again. Okay, make sure you delete this icon. Yeah. Little mouse drag this one to here. Choose color. Right there. So now I'm going to set the object. Select this icon right here. Right click and choose face. And just paint over it. Make sure you don't paint anything else except that area. And then right click over this blend and choose assign material. Okay, so now the protection is wrong, so I could do is also go back to face again. And I just need to set these faces. Make sure this one deselected. Okay, yeah. Now I'm going to do a projection. You go into polygon mode, create UV, put in the mapping, get the option box, make sure you're in the Z axis because right here you can see it's a Z. Z axis hit project right there. What I could also do is something wrong with the texture. Let me take a look at it. Okay, that's right. Let me see this one. Okay, yeah, this one's wrong. Make sure. No, that one's right though, so let me take a look at the race one now. Okay, yeah, this one, the ball should be illuminated. And this one should be over. Okay, that's why it's not right. Right there. Okay, now if you do like this, it's going to look at that. So make sure you expand all the way out. Okay, so once you're done, you can uh, go back to section tool and it will disappear. Also right click and choose object. Right there. So if I go back in my hyper shade, double click the bulge. And make sure you're in the bulge tab right here. And now you can move the slider back and forth. Okay. So if I render this, hit IPR rendering, select this one. So if I move it down, make sure this one's all the way down. Okay, you, you, yeah. See how right there, if I move the V, the U width, I can change to uh, how high. I mean how slim it is. So I can make it up, down, yeah. okay. So let me stop IPR. And again, I can select this and scale a little bit thinner. Like that. So that's how you do it. In the next video, I'll be adding sound so that you uh, control the, the the mouth of kit opening and closing. Okay. So let's review. Double click on this bulge. The only thing you need to change is not this one. The only thing you need to change is the game, Make it red. Then you go into the placement node. Make sure you repeat U and V is 1 and 1. Next is for the cloth. Double click on it. Right here is the cloth. You need to move this one all the way up. Make sure you scroll up all the way to the right. These two should be black. These two should be 1 and 1. Next is the placement 2D node. Make sure that this one is 0. And this one point it and this one is 7. And this one is point negative point 0.77. And you assign it to the double click the layer. Make sure the bulge is on the left and the cloth is on the right. And it's very important for you to choose this one as illuminate. If you pick it over, you're going to get that look. Okay? So make sure you pick illuminate. What you can also do is you can choose multiply. But if you pay attention, let me open this. Okay, that's multiply. If I Choose illuminate and hit render. See how much brighter. Okay, and this one the cloth should be over. And that's all you need to change. 
the next is make sure you right click and choose face select these faces once you select these faces you right click right here and assign the material okay and this one you middle mouse drag to here and make sure you choose the color and as for the protection once you have these faces selected right here only the front you go to create play the mapping get the option box and make sure you protect only the z-axis once you do that make sure you move the slider I mean the projection wider for example let's say if I uh, select this object and right now I don't know where it is I can all go to the window connection hypergraph connection and it should tell me somewhere right here right here poly protection number five once it's selected you can hit the little T on your keyboard and it shows here and then you can move this one wider or thinner yeah okay I think it should work I don't know why it's not working right now And that's how you do it okay make sure you move the projection wider and then now if I go back to the hyper sheet and the quick one I can control the uh, make sure you're not in the place of the number of the bulge node and you can move it up and down okay like that okay that concludes the tutorial thanks for watching